Uh, this video is gonna be a shorter one. I'm going to show you two different options. These are store-bought puzzles. You could put their food inside of it as long as it's dried, you wouldn't wanna put wet, or their treats. And I use the treats because my dogs hate kibble. That'll be another video for another day on exactly what I feed them and um, how I go about that. That's a whole nother deal. Anyway, these are two store-bought ones. They're okay. Uh, Kaylee gets lazy on one of them really easy. It's a ball that she rolls and she tries to get the treats out of it. She doesn't like to have to work. So this one she does and she pushes it all around the house. This other one, uh, you'll see how she cheats. Um, she sticks her tongue way up in there and gets a lot of it when she's supposed to be hitting it with her foot. But anyway, so I'm going to show you that. We get set up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm going to show you this again. Um, apparently my phone had shut off and I had shown you all this stuff and it wasn't recording. So that stuff happens. Anyway, so this is, I'm gonna start off with this one first. This is the ball. Kaylee does not care for this one because she actually has to work for it. If you can see, you can see the pictures on here, the dog pushing it around. And you can push it this way, but there's no treats that are gonna come out of it. They have to actually push it different ways for the treats to fall out. Anyway, since I already had broken up this, the treats and had filled it up, so here we are. I put my <clears throat> treat that I use on all my games, puzzles, whatever. I use freeze-dried liver, 100%. Make sure it's ingredients say only beef liver or any kind of liver, but 100% just liver, freeze-dried liver. No, I've, nothing else added. So it comes usually with these little tongs. I don't know if you can see them. They're like, there's a bunch of them. And it makes it very difficult for the food or treat to get through. So I cut some of those. But yes, you can put your dog food in here, kibble. Um, you can put treats, whatever. But once again, make sure that the treats that you use, if this is a new treat or food, you want to make sure that you start slow with it. It can upset their stomach. It's the same thing as when you transition um, a dog food, you start off slow. Anyway, okay, so this one is done. I added the treats in here, so that's there. This one, on the other hand, she likes this one. This is Nerf Dog, and this one they actually have to hit, and you can see how the treats come out. She likes this one because this one's easier. And she sticks her tongue way up in here and then collects them and lays down, so yeah. But anyway, so what it has in there, it has on here on the side, it has a little valve that shuts this. So if you don't want any more food or treats to go down, here, you can shut that off. Or you can slightly open it to make it a little bit harder, or all the way. I leave it all the way because these treats are hard to get down the hole anyway. So you wanna make sure that the food or the treat can fit through that hole, so you do. And then I knock a few down in there so it gets started. And remember, when you're starting these, anything new with your dog, they're going they can get frustrated, especially because they don't understand what's going on. So you're gonna have to be patient with them and then sit there and watch them and keep telling them tap, 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 or roll, roll, roll. Yeah, you wanna be patient or else they're not gonna wanna do it. All right, and I'll show you how she does these. The other two dogs don't do these. I've tried to get them to do it. Eve, for one, is a little small for this. Maggie. I don't know, she just, she could care less. So, all right, I'll show you in a second. All right, Kaylee, you ready? <laughs> 
Yes, I'm giving you this one first. Okay. Here you go. Do it. See, she's got to push it. And then the treats fall out. But they don't always fall out. It has to go like that on its side. And then it'll go in the corner and get stuck. Okay, back up. Kaylee, back up. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hang on a minute. Ugh. All right. Let's try it again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. See, and they don't always come out. That's what makes it more difficult. So she'll push it all the way around the house until it gets stuck and then if you're not watching then they'll stop playing it because they it's stuck what go ahead keep going Lazy. Okay, now I'll get the other one out. Watch this. Kaylee. Kales. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I love this one. So I'm going to lay down and stick my tongue way in there. You cheat. You're cheating. <laughs> you see your tongue way in there. You cheat. You're supposed to hit it. Kaylee, get up. Hit up. No, stand up. Kaylee, up. Hit it right here. Hit it. There you go. Good girl. Yes. No. Let's see. You cheat. You cheat. Kaylee, here. Stand up. Stand up. Yes. Oops, sorry. All right, hit it, hit it, no. See, that's why she, she doesn't care for that one as much because you can't stick your tongue in there. No. So she's already gotten from all the ones up there down. So I suppose if I could make it a little more tough and then shut that a little bit, but then she may not even do it at all, but I don't know, I'll have to try it, see what happens. Trial and error. Give one to Eve. There, you got two. There you go, Evie. And Maggie. Maggie's over there. Ugh, I'm tired. Okay, 